Oh. <laughs> 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 he needs blinders. <laughs> My preview is making noise. Let me fix that. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Thank you, Ari. Oh, wait, sure. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm sharing the stream. I wish I could have a whole bunch of emotes, that would be cool. Okay, I think I shared it good enough. <sighs> Meow! What's your problem? What's your problem? You alright? What? You good cat? Being dramatic. <laughs> He's like whining for no reason. It's great. Really? What? Stop looking at nothing, you weirdo. My house is haunted. He keeps reacting to nothing and jumping. Spooky. Am I allowed to show knives on Twitch or is that against the law? Am I allowed to show my new pocket knife? I think I should move my chat to the other side. I can't see. I'm blind. Uh, there's too much crap on my desk. I need a bigger desk. Fuck. That is better. I can see on that side.
think after the thumbnail today, I'm going to possibly work on my emotes. Because there's a couple of them I want to change in the place. I should make a new icon while I'm at it, actually. It's like the ghost doesn't look like that anymore. The hair is longer and it's a different color. It's so much different. What if I also made the ghost male? Something I could play with. Have you ever had that happen? Whatever you're trying to use to reach out, whether it's like a laptop or a phone or something, you ever have it like not connect so you like assume no one's ever talking and then like four hours later you realize it wasn't connected? So, why do you always say potato? Potato. <laughs> What's your obsession with potatoes? <laughs> yeah. What? It cut out. <laughs> if you were a potato, what kind of potato would you be? A KP. A kawaii potato. Good thing you already are a kawaii potato. You call me fat. No. <laughs> or box. No, you're not fat. Well, you're in your sound. You're a kawaii potato, though. Shut up. What? You know who else is a kawaii potato? Take a guess. <laughs> I just thought about like putting white hair on a potato. Mm. That's a TF drawing right there. Potato. It's like, what would you turn into on a farm? Sheep. A sheep, a ship. What kind of ship? Nope. You're gonna be a little lamb. you name a farm if you owned it? Mm. Mm. Aries. 
Ace Ranch, Shapeshift Ranch, uh, TF Ranch. To French. To French. <laughs> it goes both ways, you know? Cause it can either be Transformation Ranch, to French, or the fucking ranch. <laughs> mm hmm. I'm going to the fucking ranch, and it's like, whoa, man, it's the TF ranch. Calm yourself. It's like, this ranch has one of those amusement park rides that's just like the bowl that you ride, except for that was a customer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or it's you, you could be the bull ride. Thank you for following Cellscott12. I tr tried not to butcher that. <laughs> oh, uh, here we go. We got somebody whispering me again. They said, hey, mate. <laughs> oh, God. They said, I can help you to 120 followers. Um... If you're asking for money or follow for follow, I don't really do that. Then after you donate to my channel, it's the same person as before, isn't it? This is like exactly what the other guy said. Sorry, but I don't do that. I don't do follow for follow or pay for follows and stuff like that. Do you think it's a bot? Do you think it's an actual person? They said it in your chat too. Yeah. Yes, because it was made on April 1st. <laughs> well, no, somebody messaged me saying, like, the same exact thing yesterday. But, yeah. Like, thanks, but no thanks. Wouldn't recommend you going to different people on Twitch doing this. Looks bad. Would you like to see a magic trick? Well, I'd love to. Wow, they disappeared. <laughs> Do I have it because of the 100 follower goal or whatever in my title? Is that where they're coming from? Most likely. It's like, every time I get one of these people though, they do follow. And from what I've seen, they haven't unfollowed. So... Oh, 95 followers. I know, we're gonna hit the goal real quick. That's what you think. I've been stuck two followers away for a month now. Uh, I'm just not gonna gain any more followers tonight or tomorrow or any other day. It's gonna be like, no. You're stuck at 98. Oh, that would suck, dude. I'm stuck in the 250s on Twitter right now. It's oh, like... must be nice. I'm stuck in the 100. <laughs> <laughs> Start reposting my art. <laughs> Make some funny hahas and then just repost art. Me? Yeah. That's cringe. Hmm. Why is it cringe? I decided I'm gonna continue my call of monster. <laughs> nice. Has he found it? Uh oh. -uh. I don't think he's been online or somewhere. I'm a little worried about him. What is that? Uh, because the last time I talked to him, it seemed like he wasn't doing so great. But, I don't know. But also, the last time I talked to him, he was being a bit of a dick nozzle, so... Mm -hmm. it's, it's like... like he cleared his conscience, and now he doesn't care. <laughs> uh -oh. That might make sense. He's like, ugh, I can feel fine again. No. Or he realized he doesn't feel any better, and he's like, crap. <laughs> I 
Are my Europeans still in bed? Probably. and just start making it. How would you even safely do that? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah, how do you expect careful. to make a how do you expect to actually make a cobble monster? As soon as a lot of sets going everywhere you're screwed. <laughs> oh she should be fine. Oh yeah you're the fire rebel. I forgot. <laughs> You're just walking through the lava, like, yeah, it doesn't affect me. Some kid sees you walking through the lava goes, oh, it's harmless, okay. They sprint straight into it and die. Oh, God. Wait, are we allowed to die? But I mean, are we allowed to choke with kids? Dying? <laughs> what? So fucking awkward. No. Uh -huh. Is my music not loud enough? Music's no, supposed not. to cover the awkward. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Peace. Mr. Peace? I missed the piece. I was like, who's Mr. Peace? Mr. P, cousin of Mr. T. What did Mr. P say? What does Mr. T say? It's something about working, I think. What? Yeah, let me, let me Google what Mr. T's quotes say. Mr. T quote. Mr. Tweet. Mr. T says, God is on my side, and that's all I need. He also oh he's the guy who says, pity the fool. He says you pity the fool because you don't want to beat up a fool. Oh. He also says, I got no time for jibba jabba. First name Mr. Middle name. Period. Last name T. <laughs> That's cringe. <laughs> some days you eat the bear. Some day the bear eats you. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't like magic, but I've known to make guys disappear. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> At fucking when I worked at the Amazon place. They had a quote from Mr. T about working or some shit. They had like a cartoon picture of his head with like a quote underneath of it. Yeah. Another quote by him is, it takes a smart guy to play dumb. Welcome to the reading Mr. T quotes stream. <laughs> um, love is a verb and verbs show action. <laughs> love. <laughs> love. <laughs> he said Stop. love. Stop. Love is a verb. <laughs> Stop. Um, anger. Use it, but don't lose it. Don't lose your anger? Don't lose yourself in anger. Duh. Bruh. <laughs> what? My I've never seen so many spiders with fucking potion effects. Hard to be like that. 
I guess... Actually, that makes sense. Mm. I The last time I played hardcore... Well, apparently I haven't played hardcore since, like, before they added that. And when I did play after that, it was the Nether series. Ah, gotcha. Another quote is, If you can't read, the only thing you can do is enjoy the pictures, not the whole story. Reading's the key to knowledge. Knowledge is the key to understanding. So, read on, young man. Read on, young lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back in the day, I would wear up to 45 pounds of gold. It would take me four hours to get dressed. <laughs> you with your fucking amulets and shit. Like a Zelda outfit, <laughs> just like... Um, people ask what gives me the authority to give advice. I say, first of all, I don't give advice. Dr. Phil gives advice. Mr. T helps people. I motivate them. I inspire them. I give them hope. I plant a seed so they can feel good about themselves. That's actually a really good quote. Uh, I don't really know what this quote is in uh, context of, but it says, I'm a Christian. I don't really believe in UFOs. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Klein and Gloria Vanderbilt don't wear clothes with your name on it. So why should you wear theirs? Fair. <laughs> Any man who doesn't love his mama can't be a no friend of mine. You don't want to be his friend of mine. <laughs> who's, who's another actor? Should I look at like Hulk Hogan quotes? He's not an actor. Okay, he's a wrestler. Those are wrestlers. Everyone knows acting's- I mean, wrestling's acting because it's fake. Duh. Toxic. To my little Hulkamaniac, say your prayers, take your vitamins, you'll never go wrong. What are you gonna do when Hulkamaniac and my 24 pythons run wild on you? Why does he have 24 pythons? <laughs> I don't know. I fear no man, no beast or evil, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> I woke up and realized life is great and people are awesome and life is worth living. Imagine not being depressed. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Could you? Hulk Hogan out, out here like, man, life is good. <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah, I bet it is when you're a fucking millionaire, <laughs> fucking successful, and everyone loves you. Life is good, brother. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Negativity and Hulkamania, two things that don't go together. Is this guy like a positive reinforcement kind of love yourself speech therapist dude that just wrestles also, but before every match he says some shit like, Life is good, man. Don't give up. <laughs> no. Uh, I hate to toot my own horn, but I just feel that I know people and I know fans and I don't feel there's any Is there is that Angela and Julie Brad Pitt barrier with me? I've always felt it from everyone. I talk to the fans I feel I feel like I'm tangible and they can talk to me and they know me uh. <laughs> I totally understand OJ. I get it <laughs> Oh no I've been knocked out a few times, but I have no idea how many concussions I've ever had. I love to give the fans what they want. They're what I miss the most when I'm not wrestling. That time in the ring is like being in heaven for me. Um, okay. It's tough because a lot of my friends in normal life, a lot of my friends in the entertainment business, and a lot of my friends in wrestling business are gay. Just to say something spiteful and hurtful, I don't get it. If it was true and I was gay, I'd embrace it, and I'd tell you guys about it, and I'd celebrate it. Okay, so I guess okay. there was... I guess there was some sort of, like, magazine trying to say he was gay when he's not. He's like, I don't, I don't have a problem with it, guys. Um, God damn, we're, it. God <laughs> damn it. He said, we're the greatest athletes in the world, without a doubt. Okay. Um, 
What does NWO mean? New World Order. Oh, he said, when you're NWO, you're NWO for life. People always expect Hulk Hogan to be standing up straight or to have a bandana on or to not have his arms covered up. If I have an extra large shirt on, people go, oh yeah, you look small. It kind of ruins your mystique. <laughs> He said, everyone's out there wrestling like a robot. In the mm, ring, I love, I love quote streams in the art section. <laughs> it is art. <laughs> in the ring, it's fun to be a bad guy, but for 24 hours a day when you have to talk to kids, make a wish programs, and those kids, they love you. The bad guy stuff is not fun, then. I'd rather be a good guy 24 hours a day than be a bad guy just for a few minutes in the ring. Okay. So he loves doing Make-A-Wish shit and talking to children. He likes acting like a bad guy in the ring for a little bit. I don't, I don't see a problem with that one. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah, guys, I got a confession to make. I enjoy making children smile in hospital. I know. It's kind of In weird. the hospital. Hey, that's how British people say it. They say in hospital. They don't say in the hospital. <laughs> well, that's improper. Is it though? If the Brits made the English and we had just oh, merely, it's, we we just merely use the English. Nope. <laughs> I mean, I also feel the fact that fucking people that came here were fucking. English, so yeah, I, but, you can't really say that. Hey, Ted, what's up? Yeah, but we devolved it, you know what I mean? We took the English okay. they gave us, and then we just messed it all we up. We evolved it. We made it better. <laughs> we, evolution does not like, have to be says, a good thing. Who says fucking <laughs> fire brigade? Like, what the fuck? Fire brigade? Is that the it's firefighters? Like, yeah. It's like, <laughs> what, what's the police? The police brigade? Ted, is it called the police brigade? No. <laughs> the fire brigade. Yeah, and they have what funny about... accents, fucking nerds. Oh my god. What about... <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, you know, the words like garage? Wrong. Garage. Charades. Shut up. <laughs> We're <gonna> box. <laughs> We're not gonna box, come on. It's like, honey, let's go into the garage and play charades. I hate it. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> it sounds like a language a little kid would make up. <laughs> it's like, said I Look, I made my own language. <laughs> or, or how about inviting the children over to make cheese and marmite toasties? Ew. Does do you know what a cheese and marmite toasty is? No, but the word marmite sounds gross. <laughs> do, you, do you know what marmite is? I do. Apparently, it's very bad. Uh, I or think it's like it's hit and miss. Yeah, the people who usually think it's bad have had too much of it at once. You're supposed to have like a light, light like amount on like a buttered toast or whatever. And it's good for you. It's got like iron in it and stuff like that. It's like obviously the Australians have their Vegemite counterpart, but um, my mite's not that bad. I think I had it before. It was okay, but I don't choose. It's not. I'm not like, gonna buy it on Amazon. You know, I don't like it that much. But I'm not gonna deny it if they like hand me butter and marmite. You know. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna be like, bring the Nutella. <laughs> Bring the Nutella. I'm American. Where's the marshmallow fluff? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I have to I have want some more toast. of diabetes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to have some more Every toast. meal has to have s'mores. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm not even sure. Here, let's. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna Google what exactly Marmite is made out of. What is Marmite made out of? 
Marmite is a dark, thick yeast extract paste made from concentrated yeast extract, which is a byproduct of brewing beer. It was conceived in 1902 when the Marmite Food Company opened a small factory on Burton and Trent, where it still resides today. So, it's a byproduct so for making beer. The byproduct is not beer, though. It's, it's literally beer. <laughs> it's thick beer you put on your bread. You know, yeast is like what you use to make bread. So you put bread paste on your bread with some butter. <laughs> Alright, the savory spread marmite has been banned in Denmark because of the number of added vitamins and minerals it contains. Nutritionist Nicole Berberman discusses the product's health properties and considers why the Danish authorities have banned it. Uh oh. Apparently the company also just puts a shit ton- Okay, so Marmite is yeast paste with like red Flintstone vitamins crushed into it. <laughs> it's like, you put that shit on your toast and you're just- you're good, man. You don't have to do anything else. That sounds gross. Yeah. You might as well like make a like a cereal bar out of it. Be like, don't forget to eat your vitamin paste, honey. It's like it's like that one movie. The fucking Snowpiercer where they have like the giant <laughs> yeah. brick of like bug protein. Yeah. Hmm. I remember that movie being so much better when I was younger. It did not live up to my expectation of rewatching. Yeah, it was very disappointing. Like, I remember it being so much cooler when I was younger. I don't know how it ended up so bad. I was like, I was like, it has Steve Rogers in it, man. It's great. Does it? <laughs> yeah, the main guy. I don't remember. The don't axe remember guy was him. fucking Captain America. <laughs> I don't even remember that. Yeah. What's his name? Not Steve Rogers. What is it? <laughs> Not Steve Rogers. <laughs> you know, his actual name. His human name. Chris Evans? Yeah, Mr. Evans. <laughs> yeah, he was in it. And I'm like, the heck, I remember this being more cool. I remember thinking it was like hip and edgy and cool and interesting when I was like... Hip <laughs> and edgy. Came out in 2013. Yeah. Do you not I don't remember? remember this movie. You don't remember being edgy in the 13s? No. <laughs> I swear to god, when I was in high school, emo was being cool again or some shit. Like everybody I was... Huh? I don't follow the trends, remember? Yeah. But you probably would have noticed all the other kids dyeing their hair and going, Raw XD. <laughs> like fucking... <laughs> I remember the Raw XD, but no one was dyeing their hair. Uh, they probably just weren't allowed to or some dumb shit. <laughs> but yeah, fucking XD and Frar and Hoi and all that fucking stuff. <laughs> I love lava, dude. Man, I wonder how different high school would have been if I wasn't a freak. <laughs> like, if I was like a normal kid. <laughs> huh. You know? No. Oh. Oh. Really? <laughs> you sure edgy's the right word, fam? Yeah, there were a bunch of emos. A bunch of like. Emo, dark haired, joking about cutting themselves, you know, full on edgy emo kids. Those kids, those edgy emo kids are the same ones that act cringy and do the raw XD crap. Snowpiercer, or, or if you're asking if edgy was the right term for Snowpiercer, I'd still say yes. Everything about that movie is edgy as crap. Like, oh, humanity is dying, so we live in a train, what we call the Snowpiercer, and you gotta 
beat the man to get out of it. And, you know, like, I'd rather get my arm frozen off than tell you that you're right. Ugh. That's all emo. It's emo angsty teen shit personified in a world ending train. Like. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> it's like, God, they're so whiny. No. <laughs> yeah, just eat your bug bars and yeah, be happy that you're on the train. Yeah, God. Shut up, shut up and eat your bugs, you inferior <laughs> people. <laughs> you poor people. Yeah, right? Didn't you know this is the Rockefeller train? Only rich people's lives matter here. Also, the logo for that train is definitely just the WordPress logo. Really? <laughs> just a <laughs> W in the circle. Literally the same W that they use in WordPress. That's funny. <laughs> Eat your bug paste and be happy. Have you ever been in a situation where you were ordered to Had to eat happy? bug paste? <laughs> no. No. No, where you're like forced to act happy and crap like that. Where like, sometimes, not, not so much anymore, but when I was younger, I'd get yelled at for crying for like any reason. Even if I got hurt, you know, I wasn't allowed to cry. So I had to mm -hmm. like not cry, not do any of that crap. And then you get a real job and you go to work. And they tell you you have to act happy there too. You have to smile at everybody and everything, even if you don't want to. Crap like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember where I'm taking this. Yeah, I was waiting for the point. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I guess it has something to do with like. How depressing life is? <laughs> yeah. But I guess I was gonna talk about how we're joking around that they should just be happy for what they have. But I think I was gonna pull it back to forcing people to act happy when they're not is just wrong in like all forms. Oh my fucking god, it's a joke. God damn. <laughs> I, I know it's a joke. I just hate it. People tell you're me to smile and I want to stab them. You're being uh. <laughs> you're gatekeeping. <laughs> I'm gatekeeping. I'm gonna, what am I gatekeeping? I'm let me bully the depressed people, God. If people were allowed to do it to me, I should be able to do it to other people. <laughs> but, uh, there was some there was some other point I was gonna try and make with that, but I yeah, forgot. I have no idea what you are taking. <laughs> yeah. Like I think I was gonna like try and say my boss, my ex boss, was like the fucking guy who owned the train. <laughs> you know? It's like Oh, and you were gonna burn the building down to show him you can't tell me what to do. Yes, of course. <laughs> no. I don't know what I was going <laughs> It's gonna be something about like those employees and people eventually snapping because they can't stay sane without being able to like you can't if you bottle everything in eventually you will snap you will there is no uh, I can do this forever no one day you jokes will snap. on you I haven't yet and I never will haha ha, you're an idiot <laughs> sure your statement is already falsified. Fucking idiot. Who's in chat with me, fam? That would be Aerie. I'm not in chat. No, you're in the call. That's not in chat. I think that's the same thing. Nope. Nope. I'm not here. He's <laughs> not here. <laughs> but, um. Shit, there's something else I'm gonna say. Fuck. I like hear people losing it. I can't focus. Like, I should add a plague to Minecraft. I add think a be plague? Fun. What kind of plague? Mm. <laughs> dot dot dot, he says. Well, hi, not here. <laughs> oh, you think you're very really funny? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, very funny! <laughs> 
Get dad joked on. <laughs> you like dad jokes? Sometimes I do. Dad jokes have that like British humor, like the anti humor kind of humor. British people aren't funny. They're <laughs> British. Well, they're not good at anything else. <laughs> exactly. So no. what makes you think they'll be good at being funny? Oh no. I was watching a bear They're gross good at video. drink, sipping their teas, and eating their crumpets. <laughs> the crumpets. <laughs> Are they good at making tiny sandwiches? Or is that, is that the British? Or is that That's the French? The French? Uh, nah, I'm pretty sure it's. Eh, it might be both. I don't know. Who makes tiny sandwiches? No. <laughs> Who makes tiny sandwiches? <laughs> no, the French make big sandwiches. They got the baguettes. <laughs> the baguettes. <laughs> Yeah, was it you that showed me the video of the dad getting increasingly angry when his daughter pronounced baguette and croissant wrong? Mm. She like walked up to her French dad and was making American pronunciations of words and he was getting increasingly angry. Oh. He was like, you know how to say it! Why are you saying it wrong? Baguette. What if I got a giant baguette and I hollowed it out and put you inside? Would you eat it um, from the inside out like a like some sort of caterpillar, just like munching on it? Oh yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> what would a baguette caterpillar look like? If you like came out of it as like some sort of French butterfly. Wee 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 I am free. Wee <laughs> wee I am free. <laughs> as the weapon of choice for roof jumpers. <laughs> Wait what? They can serve one purposes, one purpose as a weapon of choice for roof jumpers. I don't understand. I don't know what that means. I don't get the reference. I'm sorry. When you say roof jumpers, are you talking about like suicide? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking jumping, the fucking guy just outside, like hanging out the window, just whacking some their dead body, like their falling body with a baguette. Oh god. Is it assault, technically, to hurt somebody who's trying to hurt themselves? Uh, depends if- what your motive is. Or if you're just hurting them, just hurt them, yes. Oh, he's talking about parkour, not people killing themselves. <laughs> Nothing comes from that mine. Are you gonna say nothing comes from the French? <laughs> <laughs> All they're good at is giving the US money when they're fucking bitching people. Oh god. They're also good at losing to Vietnam. That's why they give us money. <laughs> And they make some cool food. No, they don't. They eat snails. That's how fucking dumb they are. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think escargot is like a normal Have they ever meal. heard of cows? <laughs> Have they ever heard of cows? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure they like fondue, you know, which is cheese, which comes from cows. <laughs> Revolution is very French. Yeah. My family had to run from them. That was cool. I ever tell you about that? I'm from the house of three, which is at the time 
was related to Marie Antoinette and her reign. So the House of Three was mostly like rich farmers. They owned a lot of the land and farm that produced the food for the kingdom, the castle and stuff like that. And when the French Revolution and everything started and they were killing the people who didn't hire out families, my family had to flee to Ireland. After f mingling in Ireland for a little bit, they left to go to what we now know as the United States of America. So I've got... <laughs> Cattle is a very inefficient food source. Yeah, that's why it's bad for the environment. <laughs> if she said let them eat cake, what did your family say? Same family. No. Cousins. They said let's get the fuck out of here before we die. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> They said, oh, she's an idiot. Let's leave. <laughs> it's like, well, that was fun. I'm fucking out of here. It's like, yeah, I know cattle is an inefficient food source, but I also prefer the taste of it. I'm also anemic, so my body requires that kind of iron. What, well, are you going to tell me that soy is what we need to live off of? You fucking you soy boys. No. Soy. I am allergic to soy. I know, I'm saying for him. Like, what if those fake meat products and all that crap with soy in it, you just like can't eat because it makes you crap your guts out? Like, then what? <laughs> That's not what being allergic to soy does. <laughs> Where's this file? What is this? Desolate Island 3? Same and yeah. rip. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what do you do, man? Can't eat healthy? You can't. Do anything! <laughs> As you eat a gallon of ice cream by yourself? <laughs> what? I can't eat healthy! <laughs> I, I, this is all I can eat! Um, <laughs> num, num. Crying to yourself like, I have to eat ice cream because I can't have a tofu burger. And this is day two, you fool. Well... Two. It was the third episode. In the ones that I had. It's two. named three for me. Because I didn't two. start on zero, I started on one. Two. 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 <laughs> Moo. Moo. <laughs> Here's a cow now. Oh, I'm not. You are a red and white cow. Nope. I'll prove it. That's a mushroom, dumbass. <laughs> You're a mushroom. Oh, I like deer. Yeah, I like venison. Oh, deer. Yeah, I actually have some bison in my freezer right now. I know that's not deer, but... Bison is also usually leaner than normal beef, cow, beef, whatever. And it's, in my opinion, tastes cleaner. But it's also got a lot of iron in it. It's very dark red. It's not pinkish. It's more red red, you know? I do recommend dice, but not dice. <laughs> Bison. Bison. <laughs> Eat a vacuum cleaner. I love do vacuums. It. I love vacuums. They suck in all the right ways. Alright. Let's make a new image. We'll do 500 by 500. I like the I liked Friday's thumbnail. Me coming out of the painting. I thought you would. I thought you'd like that. Bison is close enough. Yeah, I got a lot of bison. I made Korean beef the other day with bison. It was really good. It's leaner. It's a little bit healthier. Usually it's free range. Crap like that. Like, it's pretty easy for me to get because I am native, so we get the food from the tribe. I need to refill my coffee cup. I'll be right back. I'm going to play an ad. What? What's a freak? Uh, oh no, I dropped the air freshener. I 
I'm like, oh, you said you're gonna play an ad, but I didn't get an ad. They said nah, we're not actually gonna play one. That's what you want your views to buy you. <laughs> I'm okay with anything. Looks <laughs> like what should what should like my sub goal be? Mm hmm. Today is a recording day. I don't have. I have one video for this week. Oh, yeah. How many things are you gonna record? Three. You probably get all the Minecraft videos recorded today. Maybe the gaming ones as well. If I don't be lazy. Yeah, that's gonna happen. What is that? Why'd you say a lol? Cause that's gonna happen. What is it? Uh, now you can do it. Uh, coffee. Alright. Um. So the emotes that I wanna remake. Or no, it's not me. The hate one and the blush. I might just replace those. So let's see. I like the what's it called? Synth wave? Yeah. <laughs> like simply. The simp wave. Simp wave, I love it. How you guys meet? Uh, I met Ari online through a friend because I was Minecraft streaming with that person and I had just recently met them too so I was just still getting to know them and then Ari was gonna stream so I was I popped into his stream for a bit and then I drew him some fan art for fun and just kind of started talking and then I started drawing more for him and yeah that's pretty much it 
He joined my Discord server, I joined his Discord server. But initially it was because live streaming Minecraft. Did I get anything wrong, Aerie? I'm sorry, where I'm a shapeshifter, clearly. Oh yeah, Aerie's a shapeshifter, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He said he is a shapeshifter. Oh, yes, yeah, I bubble. Oh, no. There we go. Get that eye nice and big. It's too early for the shit. What do you mean? Not mumbling. <laughs> Sleepy boy. Like, I just woke up seven hours ago though. <laughs> when did we wake up? One ish, two ish. One ish. I've only been awake for a couple hours. So. Yeah, it takes a couple hours for me to wake up. Alright. How should I do this little hand? I guess I'll do like the jacket. <laughs> <sighs> so, now what? What are you gonna record? Something. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like recording. It's gonna rain at 4. Ooh, it's 4.40. What do you mean later? PM. Yeah. of Dur Slam. Yeah. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Dude, I love people with great voices, right? And like... 
I don't know if that's weird, but that the first thing that determines if I'm actually interested in talking to somebody for like any reason, whether it's like if I'm gonna like find them attractive or I want to be their friend or something, it's like if I think they have a good voice. That's like the first thing I look for. Fully off corp husband. I don't think it's as grumbly as corpse, but he's definitely got like a voice with a presence. Thoughts? Disagree. It's like the good microphone really helps it too. Although his old mic that wasn't as good actually I think made him deeper. So he's not as deep with this microphone. He meets me in person, I actually have like a high pitched voice. <laughs> You did say slightly left, yeah. She likes you deep, fam. <laughs> I like them anyway. JK. Passing out, have a great stream. Nice to finally hear you, Ari. Oh. Have, have a good night. Thank you for coming to the stream. Hope you sleep well. For a few hours, is it still morning? Mm -hmm. Like, is it still morning if we've been awake for a few hours? Mornings aren't just an hour long. No. It's like when I was working, I'd say good evening anytime after 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then after 7, I'd say good night. I 
I'd still get people saying good day and crap like that. Is it bad if I eventually got like a group of people that I was comfortable with being a call when I'm live and like just sat in a call in my server or something and then just let whoever the pre-approved people are hop in and out whenever they want? What do you mean? Like in my, in my server, make a channel specifically known for when I'm live streaming. And have like a select. Oh, what I used to have a stream channel, and you can do that, but it's risky. Uh, that's why I was thinking, just giving the role to people that are like I would trust, like you and Ted, and like maybe one or two others. So if they wanted to hop in call while I'm live, they can. Your server, you do. I don't help you with that anymore. Fuck you. I don't want help from, from my server. That's not what I was asking. Alright, so don't fucking talk to me about it then, bitch. What is that problem? Never said it was. <laughs> Gotta put you in the art preview circulation thing. Hmm. I rush this reason. Ah.
prefer the white or the black iris? I'll stop drawing this. I'll open a new thing. Give me a theme. Mm. <sighs> I was never good at that part of English class. <laughs> English class? Jarts? Uncultured, confirmed. I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> Why are you making mouth noises? Go for a drive. It's five AM. What am I going to do? Look at it. And what if someone would draw me? What do you think I'm doing? You're not doing anything. Why do you think I asked you for your theme? Shut up! Oh, it's on that full screen. Hello?
So, I'm gonna take a look. I don't know. Go give me an attitude. I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. You really are. No, I'm not. You didn't want me to work on my emotes, so I'm drawing you now. That's what I want. That's all you. Yes, yes, gleam. on the drawing I was already working on the view. I know I have it set up so that my file explorer never shows up on the stream but it still makes me worry. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know. Are you playing a game? No. Are you on Minecraft? Nope. Are you on House of Bear? Nope. Are you on Cuphead? No. Um, what are you on? I'm a shapeshifter. You said, what are you? I'm a shapeshifter. No, I said, what are you on? I'm playing Siege Wiggy. Damn, it's been forever since you've actually played Siege. It's like, I know, like, a stream or whatever, a week or so ago, you attempted it. Like for this drawing, I'm not using a lot of stabilization. Let me trying to get a like certain look. Sometimes the stabilization makes the lines look too good, too round, too.
du. I'm fucking god at this game. Yeah. Someone stole my kill. But yes, I'm a fucking god at this game. It's like it's not stealing a kill. You guys work together. It's like what if you went to kill somebody and you didn't do it? And then you guys lose because of the guy. Right down like, them. Oh yeah, I don't remember why, but yesterday I checked that like Google Voice thing and one of the guys that gave me their number a couple of weeks ago <laughs> messaged me. He was like, see you soon, talk to you soon, and I was like, no. No? It's like, I wonder if he's gonna be bummed out when he learns I don't work at the store anymore. He was the guy that had like the card that said he was a stallion or something. Mm. So what would you do if you got a business card that said young stallion on it? Oh, he's a little fucking black guy. Oh. Um, I don't know. Satisfaction guaranteed. If you were advertising yourself, what would you say? Hey, you're a cheap shifter. Okay. <laughs> but well, like... With many farm forms. <laughs> what would the warning be? Like if you came with a safety warning? Maybe transformed. You may be transformed. Um, like, may unwillingly be transformed. Alright. Make them sign a contract saying that they don't care if you transform them. What would, like, Luf's, uh, warning be? <laughs> I almost fucking wiped all you with a pistol. That was so close. I got two out of fucking four. God damn it. Are you I downed casual one. Or unranked? Casual. I'm running around as Kev. <laughs> nice. I killed two, downed one, and then the other one was able to kill me. The top frag was the only person that was able to actually hit me. It's funny. Well, I guess there's a reason why he's the top frag. It's 4 1 0 0 0 on their team. Oh, there goes the top frag. 
The last guy literally has no health. Uh, all right, how am I gonna do this? chance at all. No. The last guy and I down that got up and revived. Mm -hmm. It was him versus uh my four teammates. Oh shit. You ever pull a 4v1? I've aced by myself before. Yes. Is the rest of your team still alive? No. Okay, nice. Man. That's, That's back odd. when I used to be good at this game. I think you can still be fine. You just have to start playing more. What game do you think that you've done the best in, that you could do the best in, that if you got back into it seriously and dedicated your entire life for whatever, you could actually go pro and be successful? Siege. Yeah? Yeah, I used to be able to wipe lobbies by myself. I remember that. The only reason why I wasn't one of the top players was because of the fact that it was me carrying my team and rank. Yeah, you often had teammates that were completely, like, terrible. Even some of the guys you semi-regularly played with, I felt like they were only in that rank playing with you because you'd ranked them up. Like, they sucked. They had no idea what they were doing. Mm-hmm. It'd be cool if I had a computer that's good enough to play games. On a new Kabooper, then you can have this one back. You know the drill. Yep, yeah, that's not like. Mm. It's like I'd take that computer if my computer stopped working and I needed one to work. But if I'm gonna get a new computer, I might as well buy a new computer. You're supposed to give me my computer. Yeah. The one you want is crazy expensive. It's like, I could definitely get myself a cheaper one that's probably good. Well, I'm still saving up for yours. It's like, it's a laptop. I'm surprised it's still, you know, doing all right. Kind of textures I got. Okay. And up. 
open. I have to go to the bathroom. Here, I'm gonna... Never mind, I guess I don't need a... Bruh, where's my team? Bruh, <laughs> Damn it. No right. trash can. I should make a BRB that like actually fits with my crown. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, I'm gonna meet them, but the music's still going and I can still hear you. Dumbass. <laughs> Bro, 
First game back, nine and one, I'll take it. Oh, cool. <laughs> what happened? Mm. Oops, no, don't turn off. My phone thing pressed the button on it. It was like, turn off? No. What? I was behind the wall. That's bullshit. No, Evan? Um, I said... 
Hi, Death Bomber. How are you? I was saying that the cat is outside. Hmm. The stray kitty cat. What are you up to today? This dude's sensitivity is insane. What does he have it at? Looks like it's maxed. Uh oh. Transform everyone. Just transform the world. Yep. Alright. Like, what would the player have to do in order to beat you? They can't. They can't. They always lose. That doesn't sound like a fun video game. It doesn't want to be fun. Uh. <laughs> you think I'd let them have a chance? Oh god. Yeah, you got this villain thing down pat. <laughs> Alright, so... If Deku does actually go full villain and stays villain or whatever, it's like, what do you think his villain reasoning is? Like what? What's his reason for being bad? Mm -hmm. They better have one hell of an explanation for it. <laughs> All right. The only thing I could come up with is somebody's death that just makes him snap or something. I mean, I guess it would also make sense if it's someone else's quirk forcing him to be evil. You know, like, mind-controlling him or something. Mm -hmm. But, do you think that would be a thing? Do you think that he'd be mind-controlled? Do you think Deku mm. is susceptible to mind-control? No. I'm a fucking gamer, dude. Yeah. Oh! 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 <laughs> what you I got followed and I was trying to bait uh, Jackal to come fight me. Mm -hmm. And motherfucker just blows up the wall above me. And I'm like, nah, you're right Ah, oh, he's chasing me! <laughs> run, 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 run. Wee woo, wee woo. Wee woo. I love it. Oh god. What's been your biggest real life wee-woo moment? In this game. 
this game is your real life wee woo moment? I don't know what you mean real life wee woo moment. I'm truly reacting like that. <laughs> I mean like a real life event that happened to you that made like everything be like wee woo. Mm -hmm. That time my mom tried to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that would be, yeah, that would qualify. Yeah, that's a real life wee-woo moment right there. Have you ever had to get the police involved? No. Like, excuse me, officer. This person is trying to fight me. Damn, my hair needs <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not supposed to have any of these on the bottom layer. These are just in the way. <sighs> what are you talking about? Looking forward to that bigger desk. I might actually have room to fucking move my mouse around. That's exciting. <laughs> now you're just gonna like move your arm all over. <laughs> like, I've never moved my mouse that much when I'm playing. I've always had like high sensitivity and I just like, you know, just barely move it. Nah, I need it to be low in order for me to aim precisely. Like That's how the this. pros do it. Right, right. My bad. I know, you're just a rookie. It's yeah. okay. I know. I'm so bad. Mm hmm. I'm a shapeshifter. I didn't used to always be bad. <laughs> Don't know what happened. Like I stopped playing games for a bit and then now everything sucks. I'm gonna do this. It's like back when I used to come home from school and then get on the Xbox, I wasn't terrible. I might not have been like as good as you, but mm -hmm. it wasn't terrible. I got a nuke once. I've never gotten a nuke. I've only done it once. <laughs> and I thought I wasn't gonna get it. I got it like towards the end of the game. I'm actually surprised that you haven't. For some reason, I thought you would. I'm so fucking great at this game, dude! Ah! <laughs> Alright, well, there's nothing I can do against a fucking cap can trap. I was not ready for that. I had one HP, I was about to clutch it and then fucking kept can. When you least expect it. <laughs> you dumbass. What do you think's the best spot to put Capcans? At the bottom of doorways. Windows are hard to hide them. How much trouble would someone get into for having one of those in real life? Extremely. 
like, is that a war crime? Possibly. Hit the cops with the. Well, nobody was supposed to be here, so nobody was supposed to get hurt by it. No, no, I'll have the booby trap your house. Yeah, you were the one that showed me the video of the SWAT team encountering a house that was booby trapped, right? Mmm, not sure. It's like there was like an axe on the stairs that would swing down and hit you in the face or something. Oh, yeah. That sounds like some shit I'd show you. Yeah. Dumbass. I'm playing Mozzie and instead of capturing my drone, he shot it. Oh no. When I that's a good thing. We don't want him to have my drone. <laughs> I know, well, I was going to say I know for him. When I first started playing, and I didn't know what Mozzie did and stuff like that, I kept shooting the drone that he captured. Mm hmm And then they'd get yell at me. they yell at me, obviously, for shooting their drone. So then the next time there was a round, I didn't shoot any drones, and then they were yelling at me for not shooting any drones, and I was like, well, how the fuck am I supposed to know if it's your drone or not? Yeah, the only way you can tell is if the light when someone's using it, but you have to be able to they have to be on it in order for you to see that. Exactly. So I was like, I'm just not gonna shoot any of them then. And they were like, no. And I was like, well, don't fucking yell at me. It's like, I don't like being yelled at. If you are a operator, what is your gadget? My ray gun. And what does it do? What do you think? <laughs> Probably transforms people. But in the scope of a video game, what could it do? It's like, what could Siege actually implement? Fucking dumbasses. I wish these people would make call outs instead of talking. What? Said. Nothing. Okay. They can't. Sheep shifting only. Also, this guy's walling. shifting video game. If you were a commentator over a like professional gaming event, it's like what game would you want to commentate for? No, you can't commentate. <laughs> I'm bad at commentary. 
It's like they're shooting each other. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know, some some game commentaries I've heard before are pretty much like that, where they're like, alright, they're running, they're running, and he biffed it. <laughs> Ooh, a DK. What if they just banned you the first time you TK'd? I'm it's, like, it's like if there's a game that had zero tolerance for TKing and such. I feel like YouTubers and people would make a game out of getting banned. Like. Yeah, probably. Bruh! Whose Discord server was it that people were, were making a game out of getting- I headshot him! What do you mean?! What? The I Discord quit. server was it that was becoming a game to get banned in? Uh, it wasn't a YouTuber. It was, uh... Young Dairy Dev. Ah, they made Dairy They Dairy. made a speed run okay. out of it. The other day I saw a post on Twitter from somebody saying that Deltarune is starting to feel like the Yandere dev stuff because they're just not coming out with anything. Toby Fox said literally he's gonna finish it when he finishes it. He's not gonna rush it. Yeah. He said don't get your hopes up so. <laughs> yeah, the person on Twitter was like, I'll probably get flaked for saying this, but they're like, I think he's another Yandere dev now. No. I think his uh, actions are definitely justified, especially after uh, how fucking Insane the Undertale fandom is. Oh, what? You mean like trying to make another perfect game or. Yeah, it's like they expect another masterpiece. Yeah. When Undertale wasn't supposed to be a masterpiece. It was just lucky that people loved it so much. Yeah, it was literally his first game. He had no idea how to program, he's a mm -hmm. musician. He's a composer. Right. Um... Well, you know... <laughs> like, part of the reason why that fucking game did so well probably is the music. Mm-hmm. It really was a good experience. It's like the next game he makes comes out with like an FPS or something. <laughs> what? Fucking dumbasses. Dumbasses were playing with tequila and laying on fire at a fucking Mexican restaurant. And ended up lighting your girl's hair on fire. Yup. Nothing good comes out of those fucking fire shots, dude. Like, they either don't know what they're doing, and they, uh, don't put it out before they take the shot. You're supposed to put it out beforehand. Or, like, I forget what it is, but people just fuck up things. Yeah. Um... I don't know. He's burnt out. He was also making that game with him and had Temmie help once in a while. Yeah. It was just them two making the game. He did the vast majority.
Yeah. So. I didn't talk about. Why? I wonder, I wonder why it's like that. People can spend like half their life working on a project that they think is amazing, and some people do like it, but it doesn't blow up. And then somebody makes something like first try, and it blows up huge. <sighs> I don't know. Look. I wonder. I wonder if we'll discover that like luck is actually a thing. Like a scientific thing, like they'll discover certain things have been. It's like a mana bar. Shit. Yeah, it's like life and things that are living and different shit like that is gonna have like, like you said, like a mana bar. That's like a luck factor, and living things will have luck factors, and scientists can like <laughs> look at things and determine which has the best luck and like give you advice on things to use. It's like you go to a, like, I don't know, let's use like a children's book fair, for example. There's like a dad in there with like special glasses looking at different things, only buying the lucky items for like their kid or some crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, imagine a bunch of objects that are all like the same object, but they're all different prices because of the luck factor. How do you think they would test something like that? Mm. You think people would believe it if they actually like announced it? Probably not. Like today, scientists have determined that luck is real. Are you lucky? It's like take this ancestry quiz to find out. Did I do that on the same layer? No, okay, good. No, I'm talking about. Oh god. Whack. shifting have any luck involved mm -hmm. it's like is it a die throw every time you shape shift and if it's gonna be good or not maybe when learning like you're always learning Like, get the colors slightly off or some crap. Like, 
try to turn into somebody and it's like you can't remember if they're blonde or not. That's why I have the clues handicap. What if you put your own clothes on and you turned into somebody else? Hmm. It's like, what does that mean? The other day on Twitch, I actually saw someone drawing a TF comic. Oh. Yeah, it was like their character turning into an orc or something. It's pretty cool. Right, I need more coffee. And then, like, when you pushed a button, it dispensed, like, iced coffee, or, like, a blended iced coffee. So it was all, like, like a mocha frappe kind of thing. That would be cool. Mm. Or, like, any drink you wanted. You just iceify it and blended it. At the push of a button. I'm assuming it would have to be like a fridge attachment. What device would you want for your kitchen? Yes. It's like an automatic pizza dispenser. <laughs> I want it to be like in Star Trek where like they have like the microwave thing in the wall. They just type like the food they want and it just like pops out. 
Oh, I might be risk misremembering that. So, or like in Back to the Future. Thank you for following Yui Yui. Um, or like, yeah, in Back to the Future, I think they had like the tiny pizza and then they put it in the microwave, it comes out as like a full size cool pizza or some shit. Mm. Hello and good evening. How are you? I'm talking about like weird food or kitchen thingies. It's like inventions that like would be cool to own. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's an I or an L, but I'm gonna say bloch, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. So, a little reminder, hope you're having a good day and you should never give up. Please take care and do what you love because you're important and loved enough. And that's very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. It's like, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Um, yeah. Do you guys have any, like, inventions that you guys would want in, a, in like, a futuristic house? Or just in general? Everyone should hear those words every day. Oh yeah, dude. It's like, I try to tell people that I love them and that they're important to me and junk like that. But, not everybody does. How's your night or morning? Happy time zone. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. I hate time zones so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all right. Right? We just need like an internet time zone that has one time. <laughs> be like, oh, it's noon internet time. And then everybody can just refer to the internet time instead of their own time zones. How about me? I'm alright. I'm just drawing and call with my friend Ari. I'm drawing him. I'm working on like the background portion right now. face when I realized I messed up this brick over here. You need to go, you just want to stop and spread some positivity. Thank you for chatting and doodling. Drawing looks incredible. Take care. Come back another stream with another reminder. Thank you for following. Have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. You're awesome for just spreading positivity. Keep it up. <laughs> we need more people like you. How did I mess this up? Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so there's Swift there. And this one's not. And then this one is. And then this one's not. And then this one's not. This one is. Not is triangle. Not and is. And where did the mistake start? Right here. Of course it did.
I think I fixed it. Now I just have to fix the color of the brick. This one too. There we go. Alright, now I just want to add some texture to brick. What are we at, like 97 followers now? Should I choose the winner? I think the best way to do that would be. It's like last time I said the idea I was thinking of, you were like, ah, no. <laughs> You had a better idea because you said no to that. I do. It's like, care to elaborate? Why would I do that? Oh <laughs> god, okay. This is your channel. That you're taking money, bro. <laughs> I guess I could try seeing if there's like a plugin for it. Maybe Streamlabs has a feature. Oh my that god, you stupid. Why are you calling me stupid? What's the weirdest thing someone said in your chat? Mm. 
like actually probably start chords doing furry stuff in your chat. It's pretty weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I took well. I should get still draw while it's saving. <laughs> Makes me stop every time. I think it almost crashed. It like flickered through the thing. Try it. 
I need to extend the shirt wing. Hmm, don't go.
If you had a sketchbook of yourself, what would you draw on it? Hmm? If you had a sketchbook of yourself, what would you draw on it? Someone told me, well, an art person told me recently that they think I should get a hardcover sketchbook just for like uh, sketching and obviously um, just like getting thoughts down when I think of something instead of like just writing it because sometimes you forget what it is and just to help with other things. And then when it's time to actually make it, digitize it. about how um, I haven't done traditional drawings in a long time and I'm like probably losing some of that skill level too. It's like it should help with that as well. If you opened a gym, what would you call it? should be open. So? I didn't want to spend the last time money on McDonald's though. Uh, it's like donate to buy his McDonald's question mark? Yeah. <laughs> do people still do that? Do still people do like the stream nummies or whatever? That was like a trend like a year or two ago. He's not a 
fucking people standing up and leaving their mics without saying so. Talking to yourself like a fucking idiot. Cause I am. They should make this like a hundred. Do you prefer colored pencils or markers? Colored pencils. Good choice. <laughs> so I feel like in order to color with markers, you need like really good markers. Did you ever learn the difference between like water and alcohol based markers? Nope. Me neither. It's like, I know that when it comes to like some alcohol based markers, you can use like a blending marker that basically just has rubbing alcohol in it or, and like use it on the two colors together. But it'll also make it more like transparent, so water it down. I know some people use water soluble markers with the watercolor. I've never done that. If you had a coloring book of yourself, what should the theme be? Nice. Well, <laughs> so you want multiple coloring books with different years as the theme for it? Or... Sure. Yeah, no, I was asking what general theme would you want? Mm -hmm. I'm lost. I'm, I have no idea what you're talking about. I asked you if you had a coloring book of you. What would the theme be? 
me. Okay. And that's what the theme is. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if you wanted it to be like all used during the summer or like a Halloween or like. I guess it could just be throughout the year. What would you do if you saw a kid with a U themed coloring book? Like, who do you think you are? And then it's a U. <clears throat> and they sprint away with the book. Is up, is up. Oh god. It makes you think you can catch yourself. I don't think she'd make it a Well, if they're as good as you are, you shouldn't you get away. <laughs> like, or are some years better than other years? like one of you turns into a penguin, another one turns into a lion, it's like, alright, which one wins? Like, what do you think's the scariest thing about this year?
the scariest thing about this year. What would you do if someone tried to put you in the Museum of Natural History? Why would I be in there? Cause... I don't know, cause you're a shapeshifter? I think people would think you're an alien. Maybe. It's like, what if you are? I'm not. But you don't know where the amulet's from. How can you be sure? It doesn't mean I'm an alien. What if the amulet might be alien. <laughs> yeah. How would you feel about it being alien? Just turn into a human. <laughs> but would you care if it came from an alien planet? It's like, if that was the actual lore, would you care? Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, my ear. I need headphones so they don't squish my ears. I need to get some like over the ear ones. Because after wearing these for a while, they like really hurt them. It's like these are old as heck anyway. It's like <laughs> I would have used the hundred on it. <laughs> Whatever, there's still hope that I'll get some tax money, right?
Who's your favorite 90s Disney character? Mm, don't know. What? what was on in the 90s? It was on Nickelodeon, right? Mm -hmm. Courage, Carly Dog? No. Cartoon Network? Mm hmm. Uh, I can't remember. I used to enjoy that show a lot. It was a weird one, but I liked it. I wonder why kids shows always have to have like some aspect of like what the fuck. You know what I'm talking about? Hmm, I think that's just the creator's dark humor. Yeah. It's like do you have to have dark humor in order to want to create a kids show? It's like No, but it usually goes hand in hand. Yeah. Cause like, whether it's Adventure Time or Gravity Falls or like, pretty much any 90s cartoon, there's Those always- Those are early 2000s. Yeah. Well, I'm, I wasn't saying those are 90s cartoons, I was saying it also applies to pretty much any 90s cartoon. That there's like, some weird crap going on. It gives you the shock factor. Is shocking always funny? It's not supposed to be funny. Oh. It's like, it is though. <laughs> I know that happens. I, say, I wonder how many parents have just like walked into the room while their child is like watching a show like Adventure Time and then just been like, okay, nope, you're not allowed to watch that anymore. Just like, allow me to turn that off real quick. Do you think there are any cartoons you would not let a child watch? Like, it's free reign, have fun. It's like, I remember when I was a kid, my mom let me watch this show with fucking, I don't remember what it's called, but there's like somebody named Cow and some other character. Cow and Chicken. Yeah, it was messed up. It was really, really yeah. messed up. <laughs> a lot of the shows around that time or it's like I'm like why did my mom let me watch that I had nightmares about that show I also remember weirdly liking cow at some point I don't really know because it reminds you of you oh god I hope not no, there was, I had a dream about me becoming cow. <laughs> and then there was another show that was like it, maybe made by the same people, where one of the main characters was like a kangaroo, except for it looked nothing like a kangaroo. Just bounced around. I think it wore a shirt, nothing else. I don't remember. Camp Laszlo. <laughs> yeah, I actually enjoyed the Camp Laszlo.
Say something else again. It wasn't even a lie, dude. Uh huh. No, it wasn't. I told you That's from not... the get go that I was taking money no. out of it, and you demanded no. that I didn't. No. No. And then you agreed because you knew it's gonna get an L shaped desk. And then you fucking snuck out and got it anyway. Don't play yourself. You shouldn't be taking it all at once anyway. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> it's like, I do believe I should get some of my money. Yeah. Damn. Hmm. Ludwig was one second from escaping the subathon. Why didn't he just end it and be like, oops, I thought it was over? No, because someone clipped it and they were doing a review. What do you mean? They clipped it to see if it actually hit zero or not, and it didn't. Uh, okay. They reviewed it. I don't uh, understand how that was hard for you to understand. will be able to have the stream like this as successful mm, mm, yes yeah yes because when ninja was at his peak everyone thought that he no one would ever be more successful than him and he was little there's always gonna be someone that's better than you Is Ludwig more successful than Ninja? No. Okay. subs away or 40,000 subs away 
from beating uh, ninjas uh, peak. Okay. I feel like I missed out on that. I never really cared about Ninja, and when I did start knowing who Ninja was, it was at the point where everybody was like hating him. And when always hate him. I missed the Ninja hype train. Then again, if he was mostly known for Fortnite, I wouldn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. I remember when I used to have more followers than hours streamed. I don't know how many lifetime hours I've streamed. I streamed 377 on Twitch. 377. I spent 15 days, almost 16 days on on stream, on Twitch. I wonder how that compares to most people or other streamers. June of 2020. What happened in June? 78 followers on Twitch. An average and current viewer of five. <laughs> uh, Ooh. What? Ah, oh, there one. I could spend a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could spend that real fast. You just like buy 150 like jets and like mansions across the world, and like then you'd probably staff every single one of them with people so that you had like your own chef and you had like your cleaning service and everything.
You know, I honestly don't know what I would spend that much money on. It's just so much. What do you, what amount of money do you think was incomprehensible to you as a child? A million? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, it's like if somebody walked up to a kid and handed them a huge wad of cash. <laughs> it's like, even if it was just ones or some shit. How much do you think it would be for them to be like, oh my god? Hmm, a hundred? Hell yeah. It's like, I remember being handed like a 50 one time. I don't remember exactly what for. Probably at the grocery store. And like being like, oh my god, this is the most money I've ever seen. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. Were you ever forced to babysit your cousins? No. You're forgetting, I have two other siblings. I would not be put in charge. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, one of my cousins was older than me, but she has mental problems, so I had to watch her too. One time, we got in an argument because her mom told her she was in charge, and then her mom told me that I'm actually the one in charge. But I'm just supposed to watch watch her as well. So she tried. I don't remember what it was one day, but she tried pulling the whole "I'm older, I'm in charge." Mom said I was in charge card, and I tried to explain to her without hurting her feelings that her mom actually put me in charge because she wasn't quite sure if she could trust her. And the thing she wanted us to do was kind of dumb, if I remember correctly. Like. She, she wanted us to like walk across town and go to like some store for pretty much no reason and I didn't think she had enough money either. And two of the kids at the time were quite young and we would need the stroller and I think the stroller was in the back of her mom's van and she was like, no, nah, we'll just make the kids walk. We'll just like hold their hand and I'm like, no, that's not gonna fly. So her mom had to like explain to her that that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> my favorite was when my mom would volunteer me to watch very young babies. It was not fun. Excuse me. What's up, Burpee? Because I'm just that bored. That you're eating air and burping.
Ah, entró como... What would you do as a funeral director? Puppeteer the corpse. Puppeteer it? Oh no. <laughs> well like, you just like, make it talk to the people there. And Dean's around. It's like, don't be sad! I'm here! <laughs> just... Oh no. Everyone offline. Mm. <laughs> Everyone in my server is offline right now. It's like I thought it was a weekend day, not a Monday morning. Look how I have a consistent ten view uh, people online on my server. Just swap out. bricks, but I feel like it's going to take a long time. to make a comic about you, which one would you probably accept? DC is kind of a laughing stock currently. Yeah. Their comics usually aren't bad though. It's just the, uh, what's it called? I don't think people want to read com comics anymore. Guess not. I don't know how I messed this up. 
but on like the bottom two rows, I made a mistake. It's because you're an absolute failure. Uh, Going back to bed. Back to bed? Yep. When we've been waking up, it's really been throwing me off. There's a delay you've already. said when we've been getting up has been kind of throwing me off lately. Okay. It's like, if the sleep schedule got fixed, how do you want to fix it? That doesn't make any sense. What time would you think would be best to go to bed every night? Would you rather have your phone ring in public and have it be the My Little Pony rings or a song for like the ringtone or some like weeb thing like the Nico Nico Me thing? The weeb. You feel like weebs are more socially accepted than the other one? 
It's like actually that Kilua or Zoldic theme ringtone doesn't sound bad at all. What if your phone got replaced by another you? I mean, like there was a you that when it's like you went to p take your phone out of your pocket, there was a small you, and they didn't look like a phone; they were like a you. But you had to ask them to send messages to people and crap like that. Just turn them into a phone. Ah, <laughs> mm. oh, this is where I messed up. Oh. This line shouldn't be here. 